all right nice you are seeing this video in this video we are going to be um, looking at how to draw internet agents to two unequal circles now we have this question the question says two unequal circles of diameter 40 and 30 are 70 mm apart from their centers draw an internet agent to make the two circles so we are, we are first thing we are going to be drawing a line the center line this way so then the next thing i'll pick a point i'll pick a point if i pick this point so let's call this point now we call this point let's call this point a okay we call that point a then the circles center are 70 mm apart so let's say from point a okay point a is the center of one of the circle so this is 70 so let's call this um b okay then let's draw a perpendicular from point a and um, d and b from here now so i'm going to draw like that move to this part then i will draw that way okay then let me drop the line further let me drop the line further like this drop this okay all right so for the first circle we are having the diameter to be 40 the diameter to be 40 so of course um, radius will be 20 if the diameter is 40 so if I measure 20 here if I measure 20 here I want to draw the two circles that is what I'm doing so I can call this C this point here C okay now for the other circle if I measure the radius here is 30 the diameter is 30 now the radius will be 15 so yeah if i have this part here let me call this point here d so what i'm going to do now i want to draw the two circle so from here i'm going to place my compass needle at point a extend to this c okay to draw my first circle of diameter 40 and radius 20 so I will have the circle drawn this way okay then the second one needle put the needle point of the compass on B then extend to D then I will have this circle drawn this way alright so we have that so you can see that the two circles are not equal in diameter so the next thing I'm going to be doing now, we are going to be by setting A, B, we get it to get the center. So just extend to any convenient um, radius of your choice this way, any convenient. So, okay, more than half of A, B this way. Okay, place at point B now, the needle part on B, draw an intersecting arc this way. Then join the point of intersection together. We join the point of intersection together together this way. So we have we have this that way. So let's call this part here. This part where they both meet. Okay, let's call that let's call that F. Okay. Let's call that F. This part here F now from F now take F A or F B any one of your choice we are going to be drawing a semicircle this way such that it's going to meet the other point there okay so we have this so then we draw this this way we draw the semicircle all right so 
we have that semicircle drawn that way so this radius what we use in drawing the semicircle okay which is also equal to this af okay as you can see so strike this semicircle at that point now we strike the semicircle at that point so let's call that point let's call that point let's call that point um we have a b c d e let's call that point e okay let's call this point e now okay so the next thing we are going to be doing now we are going to be drawing this a e we join a e we join a e this way okay so we take note of where this line a e caught the circle so this way it's called the circle here let's give that h okay you can actually use any letter of choice okay for just identification that's why i'm using this lettering i mean the yes the lettering so we call this part h now so the next thing we'll be doing now we are going to be drawing a parallel line to this a h now from this i mean from this um a h now we are going to be drawing a parallel line to this b okay now this is what we are going to be doing place your c square this way place the c square this way as you can see then slide slide until you get to b that point b that that is point b then we draw we draw produce a line down to call the smaller circle we call that i to call the smaller circle at i so the next thing we are going to be drawing now we are going to be joining i h together okay we are going to be drawing our h together which is going to be giving us the requested and um, the required tangent the internal tangent so i'm going to quickly do that now So I'm going to draw this from here, join to that point, okay, this way, so you can see that, let me extend this a little, okay, so it doesn't have to pass through the center, this F, so we can call this, this is our target internal internal tangent i hope this is clear if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and share the video to your friends who offer technical drawing thank you very much for staying tuned god bless you